Well, what you're about to hear is uh, an impromptu sort of daddy kids talk about pedophiles or predators in general. So I'm sort of trying to tell them in kids language uh, what to look out for and uh, war and warnings too, and to be you know brave and all that good stuff. But uh, as you will hear, it's like herding cats with these uh, kids. Uh, their attention span is really low, and uh, yeah, like I said, it's like herding cats. Uh, ideas get thrown left and right, and the point of the me of the message is uh, goes off into tangents with these kids. So it, it, it's quite amusing. Uh, it's lighthearted, even though it's a very serious subject. Too serious, in my opinion, to be uh, telling this early in their development as, as being kids. You, you figure at these ages, you want your kids just to be kids. But then again, with the, uh, the current status and, and posture that the Watchtower uh, organization has taken in favor of pedophiles, in my opinion, uh, I have to let them know what to expect and how to deal with a potential situation if I'm not around. Okay, kids, we're going to have a little interview and a little lesson, all right? Okay. This is about bad people, okay, and bad people that do really bad things to kids, right? Yeah. So uh, there's a lot of grown-ups out there you know, that, that likes to do bad things to kids. What, what do you think about that, uh, kids? Um, bad we punch them in the face. You punch them in the face, that's right, you could do that. We punch them right there. That's right, especially guys. You do that to guys because it hurts them more. You bite them. But oh, you know what? You know what's the biggest thing you could do? No, no, no. Scream. Yeah. Scream as loud as you can because... That's right. What is that? <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes they're too big for you girls, for you kids. They're too strong. They're too strong, that, but that's why using your voice is much better. So, I'm actually too strong. I might want to touch them. Well, you could try and do that, but while you're doing that, you so scream what? really loud. If they have a gun. They're not going to have a gun. They're, they're, you know... They try to trick you into doing bad things. That's why. That, that's why. Maybe they won't use a gun. Maybe they will say they have a gun. But you know what they, you say about that? Trick. You, don't trust them. Don't trust them, right? But you tell them that your daddy's got a bigger gun. <laughs> you tell them. You tell them like this. My daddy is worldly, and he's gonna get you. And they're gonna be. That's right. Um, Okay, kids. Now, this is an important point right here that I'm... Hey, no, no, don't do that. This is an important point that I want you uh, kids to know. Okay. Now, when you're in the kingdom hall, do not be alone with another man there. Because the kingdom hall is not going to protect you if you say that they did something bad to you because then they're going to say that they need two persons that have seen it. That's you and the other person, but then they're ne they're always going to lie. So that's why I'm saying that if something like that happens, or if you're in a house of another, it's a fight war. yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> but if you're in another house and there's a Jehovah Witness man that wants to do bad things to you there, you scream and you run to a woman, okay? Like this scream? What scream? Okay, okay. Yeah, but, but okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. But you do it a lot louder, okay? And and you, and you start fighting and wailing. But you run, you run to a to a, a female, another woman, uh, grown up, okay? Cuz like mommy. Like mommy, like another, you know, grown up. Or a friend of mommy's. A, a friend of mommy's, yeah. But they have to be women and guys too. You could you could sometimes trust guys. Can you tell you a secret place so especially in the kingdom hall, you should always take care that, you know, you're always with other women, okay? Do not be alone with other men. Mm -hmm. You hear me, guys? Yep. Okay. So you're going to do that? Yeah. All right. 
let me tell you about a trick that I used to trick you kids into thinking. Because guys that, you know, uh, predators that do harm to kids, they, they always want to lie because they're, they're cowards. They, they don't really tell the truth. So they're going to tell you something really horrible like, if you ever say this to anybody, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your family. I'm going to hurt your family. But they're really cowards. They're not going to do that. You just tell them that my dad is worldly. Oh, and he's, well, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me finish. My dad is worldly, and he's going to do terrible things to you if, if you do this to me. You know, yeah. So you threaten him or her with my presence. You say, my dad is going to get you if you don't leave me alone. And you scream that. You scream at the loudest voice because they're afraid of that. Because what they want you to... One thing. Well, hold on, hold on. Um, uh, wh one thing that they don't want you girls to do is to be very loud because that will give them away. And that will tell other people that something's wrong because people on a majority will like to protect kids. Yeah, right? Answer. Go ahead. Um, also, especially if you keep your lights on, on they'll might think you are still awake and, and don't bark. You, that's right? right, that's right. So keep so, your lights on. Okay, that's a good advice. If you're awake. You got anything, miss? Uh, and I'll, I'll tell my dad about this. That's right. Oh, that's a look, good answer. Dad will him. Mm -hmm. let, let, let miss here. Um, so. Also, one thing is a safety tip. Um, lock all your doors um, before you, you leave your house and before you... Your house. That's a very good tip. So, you know, this is not to scare you girl, to your kids, okay? This is not to scare you kids. This is just to let you know what to do if you ever in that situation. And this video is going to help a lot of other kids, you know, uh, protect themselves too. Okay. So you're doing a very good service here for every kid in the world. Hold on, hold on. So, so the, mo the most important thing uh, about this is, is not to be afraid. It, you could be afraid a little bit, but don't always think about it. Like, try to be brave? Try, try to be brave, yes. But, but the thing is, if anything like this ever happens, I see what I did. if anything like this ever happens, mm -hmm. you'll know what to do if something like that happens because we talked about it, right? Mm hmm Okay. Right, miss? Mm hmm Okay. So, don't be afraid. As long as you know what's going on, you can always get out of it by being loud. All right, it's really hard to get these kids on point here, so I might as well end it right here and just give a little tidbit of what to do. Okay, go ahead. Um, why if they just broke inside and Well, no, okay, okay, but we're not talking about bad guys breaking into our, our, our house. Okay, what? We're talking about liars that are trying to manipulate you, you, you kids into doing something that know, you don't want to. I know how they will be frightened when they're cowards. Like, I'll tell them that you have a gun and knife. I'll slap and, them in the face. And you're, he's going to point them at you until you run away. If you don't run away, you, you can say that. You can say shot. that. Because they and know. I will tell. I know, but you can say that because they know that I'm worldly and I am, and according to them, the, the, the JW people, they will, they will believe that because they know that me being a worldly person, I am unpredictable. You see that? So that's going to play on their minds. They're going to say, oh, I'm, I'm not going to mess with you and you because the daddy is worldly and he's going to, you know, go off the, the deep end and, and go after me. That's not going to happen because when you start off fighting and yelling and everything, that's going to make them real afraid and they're going to run away. Okay, okay, kids. I'm, I'm losing you guys. I'm losing you guys' focus here. So I'm gonna. This is gonna be the last message here. So you have anything to say to our other kids that are out there? Doobie doo. Doobie doo. Okay. <laughs> no, be serious now. This is about protecting their, their, their. their, their protect. This is about protecting other kids from pet, from predators. So any any last word of advice to your friends out there? Yes. What's that? Be safe. Okay, you done anything? Um, always stay with your parents. That's right. That's right. And always tell somebody everything. 
Uh, even the police. If the police goes comes first, okay? This sit down with my kids was uh, pretty much spontaneous at the time, so that's why the kind of flow of my point across to them was all over the place, uh, and also their their short attention span also had a big uh, impact on it. But uh, I think they got the message, and and I have been talking to my kids about these sort of situations, so they kind of know it behind, you know. They, they kind of know a little bit what I'm talking about and uh, how to somewhat deal with that situation, a uh, compromising situation, if something like this should ever happen. Hopefully, never. But uh, I'm also playing into the mindset of a JW member. And this goes for any predator out there, really, but mostly pinpointing towards... JW pedophiles in, in particular because uh, they're, they're so prevalent. I'm sorry, I have to say it. Uh, and those are the type of people that are, that are you know, around, not the pedophiles, but JWs is, is what the, the, my, my kids' environment is. I try to play the fears of JW towards worldly people in my favor. So you will hear me sort of bring up the point that, you know, of course, if you get, you know, accosted or, or tricked into being alone with somebody in the Kingdom Hall or whatever, uh, first of all, fight, scream, yell, and all that good stuff. But also mention that your daddy is worldly and he is capable of doing whatever. I mean, it sounds like a threat, and, and it is a threat, because... Uh, well, I'll just leave it at that. I'm playing into the psyche of the predator with JW training behind it. Them being trained as a JW uh, uh, participant or, or member. Their stereotype of worldly people is, of course, we have no moral compass and and we're just willy-nilly doing whatever that we that we think we should do or or you know just off kiltered. So I'm playing that that particular stereotype in my favor in this situation. Uh, psychological warfare, if you guys just call it theocratic warfare, I don't care. I will protect my kids in any means possible at almost all costs. So for me, I'm I'm in the business of prevention, preventing my kids being victims to whatever that, that is out there. Given the track record of JWs out there and their protection of pedophiles, uh, that, I'm sure that's the wrong sort of statement to make, but I don't care. I'm just using that psychological advantage to, to my advantage, or most importantly, my kids' advantage. Uh, they could take a, a, a potential tragedy of being abused and turn it into a victory by exposing a pedophile uh, with their, you know, fighting back or, or what you call it. Uh, and the lessons is not going to stop here. It's going to be a continual sort of weekly, you know, dad-kids sort of encounter and, uh, and reinforcement out of those ideas of taking charge of your, of the situation. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Well, if they fight back like that, I don't think they have a problem whatsoever. <laughs> I feel sorry for any predators out there that uh, attempt to do anything to my kids. But uh, they're having fun out there. It's a good weekend, and uh, we're having fun. This is lighthearted. I try not to freak them out, make them too afraid of their own shadows or the world in general. More like this is, you know, just awareness. My kids, they're there. They got a pretty good head on the shoulders when it comes to things like this. So uh, it's just a reinforcement and, and also a little bit of monitor for me to, to see how their mental status is now uh, with the exposure of these very serious subjects and, and, and whatever. And see if I can scale it back or be a, a little bit more aggressive depending on their, you know, mental status uh, uh, of such subjects. I'm going into tangent here and I'm going to stop.